All right, guys, Brian with Vet Source back today doing a little more uh, detailing on some of these field find cars that I've outlined in that last video I had last week. Uh, link here at the top of the video. So you can kind of see what we're working with here. This is the first one I'd actually kind of showed on the video a little bit more detail here. This is a 38 Plymouth. Uh, I think this is a business coupe. Uh, as you can see, it's actually fairly body wise, complete. Panels are here. Um, got some heavy corrosion like a lot of them do especially when you're talking an 80 year old car but it is here for some reason somebody decided to weld the trunk lid shut I'm not sure what that was all about um, you can see here kind of detail there's old Bondo you know old corrosion crinkles in the metal roof which I don't know what that's all about glass is here but it's not it's broken stuff like that original frame is still in here um, but what they did was they welded the front cross member for another car and you see the floor is not in it um, there's another car's frame cross member welded in I think that's a Camaro front end if I'm looking correctly a lot of stuff here in the back so imagine this is basically just a shell to work with uh, see what you can put together from it kind of a starter kit if you will the grill is still there door hinges doors are rotted at the bottom um, hood panels are both still on here these are actually not in terribly bad shape um, pretty decent headlight buckets the front fenders are in this could really realistically be used as a parts car for another one you're building if you were so inclined because there is there are quite a few pieces left. A couple of the grill bars are bent, but they can be straightened out by somebody competent. Like I said, headlight buckets are here. This other side, hood panels, pretty decent. It's even got the props still on it. There's a little more closer detail inside of that suspension that was grafted in. Uh, kind of a detail of what they did there. Um, frame's not perfect, obviously cowl fresh air vent for the cowls in it this door is loose looks like the hinges have just rotted off of it so it's loose this glass is still in it but you know it's basically a body um you know I look again let's see if there's a rear end underneath this car I think there's got to be let's see is there there is a differential in here yeah there you go well, that looks like could be a Ford rear differential underneath here, so I'm not too sure. There's the rest of those parts. Oh, the bumpers are in here too. So there's the bumpers for the car. Rusty, pitted, but maybe savable. Um, you know, just basic shell to work with. So if you've got any questions about it or need to see some more detailed areas, uh, definitely let me know. Um, I can take some more shots kind of showing what I can see right here inside the structure as well you know but you know I being in the parts side of the business I could see going either direction on this you could use this essentially as a, a parts vehicle for another one you're putting together because it's been sitting out here in the field for a long time there's a lot of good inner support structures left here I think those are honest to goodness sun visor supports right there so, I didn't even know cars back in the 30s had sun visors. But, um, let me know if you need anything else. I'd like to see another area of this car. I will be detailing the other 22, 23 cars here that we've got in this field of broken dreams. So, I'll be going over quite a few of them as we get deeper into this. Yeah, it's the back end of a GTO there. There's a Cutlass, some other cars. So. I'll be showing some more detail there, so I will get back to you guys tomorrow. Again, if you got any questions, my number is 832-654-7367. Thanks for hanging around to the end. I'll see you guys then.